Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue my tutorial videos on quantum statistics. We're now going to move on to multiplicity rule number three, and this is lecture number seven in total. The previous video was multiplicity rule number two. So, just to remind you, in multiplicity rule number one, we had we tried to get the multiplicity of four distinguishable particles which were interacting. So we had one particle per state, and we worked out that the multiplicity was equal to 24, which was n factorial. Then when we had two identical particles, and then another two distinguishable particles, so we had three species, namely one, two, and three, this time we got a multiplicity of 12. So it was n factorial divided by 2 factorial, where the 2 came from the number of identical particles that we had. Now what I want to do is go from A, A, C, D, to three A's and a D. So this time we only have two species, namely A and D. However, there are three identical A's and one identical D, I suppose you could say. All right, so let's see what happens. So once again, I wrote out the 24 different ways of doing this because we know the maximum multiplicity is 24. So there, there, there are all 24 ways. Pause it if you like. And then I crossed off all the duplicates, leaving one, two, three on this side, and four here. So there are four unique combinations of these four particles when we have A, 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 D. We know that the multiplicity was equal to four. But we know when it's A, B, C, D, the multiplicity was equal to 24. So we went from 24 down to four, and x of course is equal to six. Now note we have three identical particles, 3 factorial is equal to 6. So I'm suggesting, it seems, of course, that we're actually dividing by the number of identical particles, the factorial of the number of identical particles. So, to generalize, what happens if, what, well, what happens if this, if I say this, that we're also actually dividing by d factorial? So that the multiplicity is equal to n factorial divided by 3 factorial divided by 1 factorial. That will give me the same answer, that would give me 4. Now what happens if when we had two identical particles of A, A, C, D? Similarly, we're going to have n factorial divided by 2 factorial divided by 1 factorial divided by 1 factorial, and that was going to give us 12. Okay, so for every, you, so the maximum multiplicity is when they're all different, and that's just n factorial, 1 per state, and then we divide by the amount of identical particles that we have. So where we have 2, we divide by 2 factorial, and then of course, well, there we have 1c and 1d. When we have 3 identical particles, we divide by 3 factorial, and then we have 1d, so we divide by 1 factorial here. All right, so I'm hoping that you can see the, you can see the, uh, the general rule, and I'm going to write it down right now. Let's say we have n sub s duplicates. Okay, and we have n particles. Therefore, the multiplicity is equal to n factorial over n sub s factorial. All right, and note if you have lots of different particles, it's very straightforward. It's going to be if it's many particles, as we saw, let's say we had three a's, two d's, four c's. Well, then in actual fact, it's going to be n factorial divided by n sub 1 factorial, n sub 2 factorial, n sub 3 factorial, and so on. That's really what we have, and a quick way of writing that is n factorial divided by pi n sub s factorial. Whereas, the, just to remind you, sigma is equal to plus, 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 and pi is equal to multiply, multiply, multiply. Alright, so the point is, you divide, you have Max multiplicity is n factor, capital N factorial, and then you divide by the number of identical particles each time. So if we have, and I'll do it, I'll do one very quick example. Let's say we have A, 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 C, C, D, and then, um, well, it's actually, I, I forgot B. Okay. 
So n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are 11 total particles. However, there are three identical A's, two identical C's, one identical D, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 identical B's. So how do we work out the multiplicity? Well, the multiplicity is going to be 11 factorial divided by 3 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial multiplied by 1 factorial multiplied by 5 factorial. Alright, and that, like I said, is n factorial divided by pi n sub s factorial. Okay, and that's, that is a very, very important rule. Alright, so thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.